Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2021. On the Man United save, the beta save, which is coming to an end, but, but, it's still going all right. Second place in the Premier Division at the moment. One or two points, sorry, behind Chelsea because they beat us annoyingly. They beat us in the league 2 1. Kovalenko got the goal. Wasn't enough to give us a result, though. And, uh, yeah, Chelsea managed to pull that one out of the bag at Stamford Bridge 2-1 after we beat PSG in that amazing episode last time. If you haven't seen it, it's spoilers, but just go and watch it. It's absolutely brilliant. 4-1, uh, we then beat Southampton back in uh, back onto winning ways. And Fati getting goals, Sancho getting two, and Rashford getting one. And 3-1, we've beaten Leeds in the uh, Roses derby in there as well. Martial getting a goal, and Fati with another, and Uer getting one. As well, and we come up today, Atletico Madrid, quarterfinals of the Champions League. Are they tougher than PSG? I'm not sure. They're going to be harder to break down, you'd imagine, under Diego Simeone. But uh, we are getting towards the business end of the season. If we can top it off with a Champions League win, it would be incredible. If we can win the Premier League, that would be incredible as well. This save will be continued. It'll be my personal save to play away from Twitch and away from NK Maribor. And I'll be putting updates on uh, Twitter, hopefully. So follow me at Culture Def. Link is in the description below. All of that jazz. But it's going pretty well. We've got a pretty full-strength squad at the moment for this one. Um, Harry Maguire is wanted by Arsenal. Paul Pogba's wanted by Real Madrid. Lindelof's wanted by Arsenal. So, question for you guys in the comments to answer. What do we do for this squad moving forward? And... You know, if there's enough interest, I guess that's... Do we carry this save on before we start NK Maribor? Do we say we've got to win something, the Premier League or the Champions League with Man United, before we start the NK Maribor save? Let me know what your thoughts are. I'm not saying I'll do that definitively. What, But if there's enough people that want something to happen, then, yeah, keep it going. I would really enjoy playing the game at the moment. But, yes, yeah, so two questions then. I said one, but two questions. What do we do with this squad, the likes of Pogba, Maguire, Lindelof? There's lots of people out there we could potentially bring in as well to make our squad better. And what do we do in terms of keeping this save going? Are you happy for Twitter updates and getting involved in NK Maribor? Which will be the main save on the channel, and it will be a hell of a lot of fun. I promise you that right now. But... Let's get back to this then. So, we're going to clear this squad. We really are going to clear this squad because Kovalenko, as much as I like him and he's playing very well, we're not actually going to use him in the PSG game because uh, we've got better options. So, let's kick this off with the first question from Guillaume Dupuy from Maxi Foot. Uh, Diego Simone has been speaking pretty highly of you in the build up. Smile warmly. It means a lot. Thank you. It's unusual to hear a manager praising an opponent like this before a match. Do you think your positivity could be seen as a bit of an inferiority complex? Uh, wag the finger. No, no, actually, open arms. I've heard it all now. I don't think that. Is it an advantage to play away from home first? Yes, it is. Um, these tires are often decided by the slimmest of margins. It could make the difference. Your Man United team have done better than some people have expected to reach this stage of the Champions Cup. Ahead of your clash with Let's Go Madrid, how much further do you go? Every team that reaches this stage is in with a chance of winning it. You've been drawn away in the first leg. Can you get a positive result? Yes. Uh, training has been excellent in the build-up to this one. Um, has some worth thrives on important matches. How are you pinning your hopes on ahead? Uh, he does tend to show up when the spotlight's on him. He'll do very well. And there we go. So it went fine. Everybody's still pretty positive with us. Let's get into it. I'm, again, I was so nervous against PSG. Um, oh, the board have agreed that we're going to find for another look for another affiliate club, which is very nice. Hopefully, we can get somewhere in um, Asia, China, somewhere like that, because that then goes towards the vision of uh this one increase commercial revenue I, I i honestly didn't know how to do that and it's signing big name players that sell shirts and setting up clubs in uh in lucrative markets i think is what they're described as so you know america uh, asia pl india places like that where there's going to be billions of fans who will just buy the kit was that what they want to do and uh, Let's Go Madrid is coming up, and it's very exciting. The Aston Villa game will be done off-camera in between, and uh, clubs are set to release youth players. Do we want anyone out of that? Probably not. Probably not. The scouts will look at them anyway if they go. But, uh, yeah, very excited. I'm talking quite quickly because I'm nervous. It's a game. It's dots on a screen, but my word, is it fun. Isn't it fun? We're going to start attacking. They're playing a 4-4-1-1 is what our scouts recommend or think. Um, De Gea has come into a bit of form in the last five games, so he will be starting in goal for us today. Our right back, wan Saka, is back in the team. Now, I'm going to go with... In the last game, 
I played Lindelof and Bai, and they did really well together. They played. Re- I'm actually. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Lindelof. And Paul Torres, I think Harry Maguire may be slipping down the pecking order in terms of centre-backs at Man United in this save. I don't think he's got all that much. I don't think he's got enough about him to be rated better than anybody else here. And Eric Bailly, when he plays, does play really well. He does generally seem to play really well. Right, Mazzala roll, this one. They said it can't be done. We're going to go Fernandez in Mazzala. We're going to go Pogba in deep line playmaker. It's a big game. I'm hoping Pogba turns up. Sancho, Aor, Rashford, and Ansu Fati. No, Martial's going to lead the line. He's been in really good form, actually. Ansu Fati starts on the bench uh, with Greenwood, with Van der Beek, with Ahrens, with McTominay, with Bailly, and with Henderson. And I think that the fact that Bailly's on the bench ahead of Maguire, that may well put the nail in the coffin for Harry Maguire in his time at Man United under my management. I don't know. Let me know down below. There's loads of questions coming to you guys today, but uh, that is what is good. We do our chances the world of good by pressing Koke. Do it. Do it. I trust you, Mike Phelan, in this case. Um, come on, lads, what you can do to keep our run going. Yeah, okay. They, they did not like that. Paul Pogba was nervous. Come on, Paul. I mean, sort it out. You've played in a World Cup final. Why is a Champions League quarterfinal making you nervous? Unbelievable. Um, I enjoy these matches. The players know what's on offer. Are you looking forward to another positive match? That's certainly the aim. Your team selection of a little way of surprise. Um, I'll make a slight favourites and we're prepared well. We're prepared well. How do you intend to stop the inform Koke? Uh, he's a fine player, but I have fine players at my disposal as well. We're in the black kit. And uh, they're in their red and white stripes, as you would expect. And, well, we're away at Atletico Madrid. How's it going to unfold? I do not know. Well, 25-ish minutes in, not much is happening. They have a corner. Koke uh, has it in. It goes towards Jimenez, and it's gone in. Jose Jimenez has made it 1-0 to the home team, and that is frustrating. There's not. That's the first highlight we've had. That, and I've just, I was just going to come back and say 25 minutes gone. Nothing's happened, but as we came back, it was a highlight, and it's a corner. And, uh, well, would we have conceded that with Harry Maguire on the pitch? Who knows? I mean, his tall height would have done as well, but... Look at that, 0.06. They are shutting us out at the moment. And that is annoying. Well, half-time. It's 1-0 Atletico Madrid. They are really not letting us get involved in this game. They are absolutely shutting us down defensively. They, I mean, Diego Simeone's done a great job. If we say without the ball, they're not even playing that deep. I thought they'd be really deep. It's the 4-4-1-1. I think we need to get this space we need to attack this space in between the lines. And I'm wondering if the diamond is the way to do that. So with the ball, I don't think we're getting up high enough. Atletico Madrid with the ball, they spread out. We can hit them on the counter. We're going to go for the diamond. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk the diamond and we'll see how that goes. As you can see, analysis wise, the main one I use is that positional sense. I think it gives you the overall view of what you need. Um, and I think Pogba's going to come off. He's been dreadful. It's... Uh, Mike Phelan was not happy about him uh, in that. So we're going to go point finger. Much better showing in the second half is needed. Into the tactics. Let's go for uh, the diamond. Diamonds are forever is what we're going to play. And now we need to consider how to do this. So Sancho has had a poor game. So we could do Rashford and Martial. And then I'm thinking we do... Pogba for McTominay. And Van der Beek for Sancho. And it's two changes at half time. It's bold. It is bold. But we need something. We're not playing very well. You've got, to, you've got to make bold decisions, haven't you? You've got to make bold decisions when you're not playing well. Demar Moore. Free kick. Taken short. wan to Lindelof. wan gets it back. Van der Beek. Fresh on. Alex Tellez. Alex Tellez, uh, he's, well, he's got a man tracking him, and I don't like that because if, if they tackle and get the ball back, then we're in trouble. T- Paul Torres up towards Martial, beating in the air. Correa, Trippier, Correa, Trippier again. Back to Philippe. Out it goes to Koke, and, well, he is uh, getting on the ball quite a lot and creating some stuff for them, according to Mike Phelan. Hermose, Koke over the top, and, well, it's, I was going to say it's a good pass, but it was absolutely terrible. David De Gea keeps it in, hasn't picked it up, plays it short to wan wan back to De Gea, out to Paul Torres. He goes long towards Rashford, wins the header. Hasamao, Van der Beek, and we've actually worked this quite well. Tellez, he needs men in the box. Alex Tellez comes forward with it. 
Tellez, low cross. There's the shot. It's blocked. There's the rebound. Bruno Fernandes. He got into the box late as the Mazala. And he makes it 1-1. And that away goal is huge for us. That is absolutely brilliant stuff. And it was, I think, that ball between the lines just there. That's what we were talking about. Getting that ball in between the lines. And the diamond is allowing us to do that. If they're going to play defensive, we can pack the midfield and put the wing backs on. And I think that really helps us out there. A little bit of luck with the rebound falling to Fernandez, but 1 1, and we are back in with a shout. So 20 minutes to go. I'm going for the kill here. Martial off, Fatty on. Um, I'm going to put Fatty as the advance forward to run into those channels and drop, drop Rashford back a little bit. If let's go and do have a corner, but it might be because I just went for a sub. Yeah, it was. So nothing much to report. Wambasaka not having a very good game at fullback. Um, I, yeah, I. I Pogba's a really interesting one because I don't know what price to sell him for. Because the rumoured like value is like 80 million is what Madrid's going to bid, but I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. What a ball that is. Rashford. Rashford's in behind. Marcus Rashford. Oh, what a block from Jimenez. He got back and made the block. I was too busy chatting about Paul Pogba and how much we're going to sell him for. Bruno Fernandes. Cross. In it goes. Torres at the near post. Oh, Black with an easy save, though. And uh, he is one of the best goalkeepers in the world, Gianno Black. So... That's a terrible pass out. I don't know what Atletico Madrid have playing there. But look at the diamond. The diamond has brought us level on chances and shots on target. So we are playing very well. Alex Tellez into Bruno, but he's slow on the ball. Diego Costa. I hate Diego Costa. I hate him. Absolutely hate him. Oh, it's a counter-attack. It's a poor pass from Alex Tellez, who's been superb for us all season. And Alex Tellez played it in field towards Bruno. Uh, I don't know if it's a bad pass or Bruno is a bit slow to react, but Koke picked it up, fed it through to Diego Costa, and it's a good finish pass to Haya. 2-1 to the home team. Come on, have we got one last chance to get back into this? And you can argue they deserve it on XG. We haven't really done very much. Defensively, they've been absolutely superb. That's going to be the game, and it is. So it's a 2-1 loss going into the next leg. Some pretty poor performances all around. McTominay had a... Did a good job, but I'm going to say, yeah, not happy. Paul Pogba, I think his his time is done. Um, do you not think Alex Telles should have should have been substituted today? It's none of their business. I've run my team. Would you agree that Coco is the best player on the pitch? Um, I'm not going to comment on individual performances. Technology, don't have an opinion. Alex Telles, I'm not fair to discuss the Alex Telles. You can't say he's had a, a terrible game. He's been superb all season. And then it's just that one game. So it's just that one game. Anyway... We'll be back for the second leg, and we're going to be a bit up against it, against Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid. But uh, with the second leg being at home, you know, I'm confident we can turn it around, but let's go and wait and find out. So here we are then, the second leg, 2-1 down, going back to Old Trafford though, and the press were very keen to understand about the away goal and how we think it's going to help, and we managed to fire up quite a lot of the team, actually, in terms of um, morale and things like that, so that's all sort of looking... Pretty good. Uh, in between, we beat Aston Villa 3-0 as well. A very comprehensive win. Uh, Greenwood, Sancho and Fatty getting the goals. But because Atletico Madrid are so good defensively, we're going to go on the attack for this game. We're starting with a 4-3-3. And I'm hoping it's going to give us that impotence to go and get the one goal we need and then we'll drop into a bit more of a defensive shape. So De Gea is going to keep his place in goal for this one. At the back, we're going to have... Max Ahrens, I think, is going to get the nod because wan has been good. And he's... Uh, Max, uh, Max Ahrens or wan -Bissaka, wan, -Bissaka, wan -Bissaka. I need defensive. He's not going to attack too much. So wan gets the nod. At the back, uh, I'm going to go... It's so tempting to go Torres and Bailly, to be honest. But I'm not. I'm going to go Victor Lindelof and Torres. I think they've been pretty good when they've played together. Uh, Maguire actually came on against uh, Aston Villa and did pretty well, to be honest. So he's probably going to get a place on the bench today. Alex Tellez comes in at left back. He'll play better than he did last time. Bar Bruno Fernandes is injured. It's an absolute nightmare. Bruno Fernandes is, got, is injured for three weeks. Got injured yesterday, day before this game. So in the middle... We are now going to play Van der Beek as the Mazala. Ball winning midfielder will be Scott McTominay. And the deep line playmaker, I'm still not going to pick Paul Pogba. It's going to be Fred in this one playing there. Can do the job reasonably well as a deep line playmaker. And we will have Paul Pogba on the bench who we can bring on. Up front, though, this is where it gets very tasty. We're going to have Ansu Fati one side. We're going to have Rashford through the middle and Martial on the other side. As far as fact, we're going to switch those two over because... That's how I want it to be. On Oh, no, we're not. Of course, we're going to play our as a deep-line playmaker. Done. Sorted. Um, 
in he wants to play advanced or deep line playmaker on support van der beek i think wants to do the same box to box so yeah mazala's fine it means he'll run forward and go for it on the bench greenwood sancho pogba uh fred max aarons harry Maguire, and dean henderson is the last man on the bench that is how we're gonna line up and this we've got to go. why would i change the cautious we've got to score a goal mike come on use your brain mr Phelan. Ha, ah, right. I just hope it pays off. It's a risk. It's a risk going 4 through 3 They can hit us on the counter-attack. They're playing Suarez and Felix. Sal Niguez is in there. Koke, Hector Herrera, Angel Correa. Yeah, it's a good team. It's a good team. So, it's, they've travelled They've travelled a long way. They, they're going to be tired. Um, let's go pump fists. Uh, avenge. We need to get the win, so do it for a bit of revenge and avenging stuff. Let's get out there. Pump all those fists. Come on. I just... Ugh. I honestly felt like if we can beat PSG, we can beat anybody in this competition. Uh, he's a very important player. He's outstanding. It's not the best weather of football. I don't think most footballers don't care. Um, it's a big match. You're right. I want the players who are fit and available to play to step up to the plate. Uh, yeah, Marcus Rashford will score. And here come the players then. We're in our red. They're in their blue. And it's going to be tough. Let's see what we do. That's a rhyme. That is a rhyme right there. That's rap, isn't it? That is a rap right there. Oh, my God. Nervous much? <laughs> Our over a free kick. He's already got a booking in this game. And it goes towards Pau Torres. It's in his second goal of the season. And I was toying whether to play by or Maguire or Lindelof or Torres. Torres got the nod at the back with Lindelof. And he gets the goal that puts us into uh, a lead on away goals. Jan Oblak was beaten with the looping header at the back post. What a delivery from her. What a header. From uh, Pal Torres. Oh, lovely, lovely stuff. What a start. That's what we needed. We need to take the, the initiative, put them on the back foot, and we've done that. Jao Felix, Sal Niguez, and Awa has intercepted it. And now look at this counter attack. Look at this. It's a three on two from the right from the interception. Martial. Oh, it's a great tackle from Jose Jimenez. But that is always going to be on, and we've won it back again. Rashford Fatty, it's in. I think he's offside. No, he's not. The linesman's running back, and it's 2 0. Just like that. 27 minutes gone. We knew that the 4-3-3 was very useful before when we played it. Martial was tackled. I thought the moment was gone. But Koke, terrible pass out. Intercepted by Hassan Maur. Rashford first time pass. And Fati into that far post. Oblak was beaten. 2-0 up. What a start to this game. Throw in. Alex Tellez on the left. Ansu Fati into Hassan Maur is tackled. But it's picked up by Ansu Fati. Gets past one to McTominay. Back to Fati. He's got runners, and he dinks it out on this side. wan in loads of space. Gave him the nod ahead of her. Aaron's today. It falls to Martial. What a save from Oblak, that is. What a save from the goalkeeper. And uh, it does give us a corner, though. That goes in, and it was Pau Torres at the near post. And easily caught by Jan Oblak. But lovely, lovely stuff. This is another corner. Tellez puts this one in. Philippe Luiz gets it away. Mac do Alex Tellez. Right-footed pass to McTominay. Into Lindelof. Who was just making his way back from the corner? Hasamoa picks out Martial. What a pass! Martial's in. <laughs> what is it about us and scoring goals in second legs in this competition? This is absolutely crazy. What a performance this is for a Man United. Our Man United, us. We've done this as a community, and I realise I'm cutting off quite a lot. Of, am I really zoomed in on my face for this second, this bit of the Champions League? I feel like my camera's broken. But 3-0 up, 44 minutes gone, 45 minutes gone. It's going to be half-time, and we are absolutely flying. Let's give them some praise before they come into uh, the tunnels. It's raining in Manchester, and the team from Madrid do not like it one bit. Correa wins the ball back to Jan Oblak. Fires it out to Hermoso. Hermoso up to Koke. Koke to someone get, who's forced backwards, as I suddenly have a burping and hiccups, which is a nightmare when you try and do a live commentary. Ha uh, Herrera, Hector Herrera, out to Angel Correa. As you can see, we, go, we do get out to him slowly. Trippier on the ball. X Spurs. Can he put a cross in? Up against the world, gets a good tackle in on a yellow card, so he needs to be careful. But again, the counter attack that we've got with this pace up front. Ansu Fati is going all on his own, Ansu Fati. He is going on his own, and his shot goes past the post. But 3 0, surely. That's half time, and it is a half time. 3 0 up. Look at this. Look at this in terms of XG. 0.04 we've restricted them to. We are flying. Well, what a first half that is. 3-0. Absolutely superb. So, I mean, you just got to outstretch your arms and say you're delighted, haven't you? That's just all you've got to do. 3-0 up. We could drop into a more defensive shape, but I don't 
I don't think we need to. The counter-attack football we're playing is absolutely superb. One shot they've had in the first half. Unbelievable. It just looks like the game is being played out. It's a free kick now. Boga into uh, Luis Suarez. Into Boga. It's weird saying Luis Suarez plays for Atletico Madrid. It's the first time I've ever really had to do it. And we could be away here again. Rashford, he's got Ansu Fati next to him. But Rashford could go on his own. Terrible defending from Jose Jimenez. Rashford's in. It's 4-0. It's his 20th goal of the season. Not only does he fight child poverty, not only does he take on the Tories, he also scores goals in the Champions League. It's Marcus Rashford, MBE. What a goal. I don't know what that defender was doing there. It was actually Hermoso. I blamed Jimenez uh, incorrectly. But 4-0 in the second leg. We are flying. Absolutely flying. So let's pause it. We'll go into the tactics um, it keeps saying Hasamoa is knackered. He is absolutely shattered. He's playing really well, but he's going to come off and be replaced by Pogba. Uh, we will concede a goal because we've taken off a high-rated player. Van der Beek is going to come off uh, and be replaced by Fred as well. And we'll leave wan Saka on for the moment, but we'll switch those two over. So at least Pogba won't have much defending to do as the Mazala. So if he does lose the ball, it shouldn't count for too much. But wonderful performance from our... What a signing he's been. 25 million or whatever it was we picked him up for absolutely superb. wan is going to come off to be replaced by Max Ahrens. And we are cruising our way into the Champions League semi-finals. And this is absolutely superb. And that is the full-time whistle. Did we rest four shots, two on target? We had 12 and nine on target. What a result in that second leg. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Outstretched arms, proud of everyone. What a performance. I'm doing it without Bruno as well. Oh, we're going to put the pressure on Chelsea we're coming to the end of the league. So, well, it's obvious when we're going to be back, isn't it? It's going to be the semi-finals of the Champions League. I can't remember who we've got because the draw's already been done. And I would think it was the winner of Lazio v someone. I'm not sure. I know we could only get Man City in the final. We can only get Real Madrid in the final, I think. So, uh yeah, we'll have to wait and see as this is loading a long time. Hopefully it's not crashed. No, it hasn't crashed. We're just waiting for the press conference to load at the end of the game. He's such a good player. He was brilliant. That's what all we were waiting for was that. So the quarterfinal, we turn over the first leg deficit. Um, the fairy tale continues. Yes, it does. I'm pleased we're through. Get ahead of ourselves right now. It's brilliant. Everyone works so hard. Let's be really positive. Lots of money. We get Ajax in the semi-finals. That is... Now, they're a good team. Ajax are a very good team, but that is probably the easiest draw we could have asked for because I think Ajax played Lazio we're on a very good side of the draw for the semi-quarters and semi-finals so yeah I'm just hoping that it's all uh it's all good it's all gravy and we can take on Ajax I got that wrong Ajax have knocked out Barcelona so it's not going to be an easy game they beat Barcelona 4-0 on aggregate uh, and now they play us in the the semi-finals the other semi-finals are Lazio or Man City versus Madrid or Inter. So it'll be very interesting to see how that unfolds. But that's when we're going to be back. I mean, can we do it? Can we win the Champions League at the first time of asking with Man United? I just don't know. I just don't know. It's been absolutely incredible. What an episode again. 2-1 loss in the first leg to win 4-0 in the second leg. Semi-finals against Ajax coming up next, not far away. Tune in for that. I'll see you then. Leave your comments down below about what we do with the squad. Are you happy for this to go on Twitter afterwards and follow it that way after the first season so that we can get the NK Maribor save going? But let me know. For now, I am out. What a Champions League run this has been. Absolutely incredible. Cheers.